Hi, I'm Brian Griffin. And I'm Stuart. Many of you have written to the show with suggestions for episodes you'd like to see. They're mostly god-awful. <laughs> well, tonight we took your advice and produced three of our favorite suggestions. Favorite? So oh, that's charitable. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I got this from Dharma and Greg. Oh, I'm surprised there's anything left in it. Whoa! Whoa! Enjoy. I call to order the first meeting of the We Hate Broads Club. Yes! Because all you need in life is your best pals. Sure, as long as those pals ain't dames. Boys and girls, we have a new student joining us this morning. Her name is Lois Pewterschmidt. Ugh, just what we need, another girl. You said it. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Hey, Lois, what you reading? A red badge of courage. Huh. I sure wish I could meet a brave fella like the guy in this book. You know, uh, I'm a brave guy, Lois. Oh, yeah? I bet you're not brave enough to laugh at death. Watch me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Like I don't have enough trouble fitting in. Well, I bet you're too chicken to spend the night at the old Selberg place. Uh, Cleveland, you mind stepping out of the way? Oh, sorry. Oh, zip it, egghead. You with your big words and your... and your... You small, difficult words. All right. Quagmire's team will take the left side of the house, and Peter's team will take the right. And whoever's alive in the morning can bury his dead pals. This house gives me the creeps. Yeah, let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. We can't let those guys win. What we ought to do is pretend we're ghosts, see? And then we'll scare the other guys out of the house. Then we can say that we spent the night, and everyone will think that we're the bravest kids in the world, especially Lois. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This'll really scare them. Everybody set? Check. Check. <laughs> Suck it to me! Oh, 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 oh. If we... is somewhere in this general area, then who the hell is that? Ah! Ah! Ha, get used to this sight, Diane. Guy's running away from you. Tom, you're so deep in the closet, you're finding Christmas presents. Our top story today, cowardly kids lay down rubber at the old Selberg place. Wait, 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 turn that up. Ah, oh, cheese and crackers. Now Lois will know everything. Today on The View, Cooties, the silent killer. There's something we gotta tell you. Yeah, we didn't stay in the haunted house. We're not brave. Oh, I decided I don't care about bravery. You, you don't? don't? No, I realize what I really like is smarts. Sorry I'm late, darling. I was checking my stool for blood. <laughs> he got us again. Yeah, this whole thing just shows that women are nothing but trouble. You said it. Lest you and me swear off them for good. And how? Hey, Terry, you dare me to pop a wheelie in this thing? Well, that doesn't sound safe at all, but okay, I dare you. <laughs> wow, that was great! It looks like the back of a tanker truck. Wow. What do you think's inside? Maybe it's candy! Chris, no! Oh, no, no, Lois, Lois. Let him dream. Uh, uh. <laughs> Does anyone else feel a trifle queasy? Ah! What? Do I have a boogie? <gasps> I say, it appears my cranium has doubled in size. <laughs> How delightful! This toxic stew seems to have given me telekinetic abilities. Ah! Hey, I can make fire! <laughs> Stewie's telekinesis, Brian's super speed. Ask me how the Queen of England is. Peter's morphing ability. Hey, Lois, I'm a wishing troll. <laughs> My super strength. Or Meg's, um, super amazing ability to grow her fingernails. Oh, no, I forgot the detergent. I excuse me, would you watch him for a moment? Sure thing, ma'am. Whoa there, little guy. You gotta pay for that. Go suck a railroad spike. I haven't got any money. Well, then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take it away from you. 
Move it, you slowpoke! The light's green! What does that cloud look like to you, honey? To me, it looks like... Rain! Ha! I used that joke at work today. I'm the funniest guy at the office. They say I should do stand-up. Ugh, this is insane! Hey, do you want to split a Toblerone? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think I do. Woo-woo! Next stop, my thighs. Um, I guess so. Oh, great. Thanks. All right, hold still now. Ah! Ah, you'll be fine. Hey, come here. Give me a kiss. Ah! Thanks. Hey, it's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here's another one. What the hell is going on here? Hi, can I get some pretzels or something? I, I just, I gotta, I gotta drive. Whoa, hey, did you bring enough breasts for the rest of the class? <laughs> hey, Hector, how long have we known each other? Since first grade. Yeah, yeah. You remember that time you called me Chris Gristle? I think so. Well, burn for it! <laughs> Citizens of Quahog, we have a problem. You're damn right we do. Peter Griffin stole my hair. Settle down, Jeffrey. Justin. Mike, clearly the Griffin family is out of control, but not to fear. I've tangled with super beings before, and they can be stopped. You can't stop us, Mayor West. We are all powerful. We demand obedience. Or else. Is that all you can do? Ow. That kind of hurt. Is that bleeding? No, no, I guess it's all right. Ouch, though! If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Oh, well, I just feel awful about this, Mayor West. Yeah, me too. Stewie, fluff his pillows. <laughs> I'll heat up his soup. And I'll go to China to see if there's a cure. Nope. No, no. The doctor says I'm gonna make a full recovery. The important thing is you learned your lesson. I can't believe we let those superpowers go to our heads. We are gonna use our powers to help you get better. Thank you, but as long as I have Mrs. Garrett's giant rack by my bedside, I'll be all right. Girls, girls, girls! <laughs> <laughs> and now back to the newlywed game. Oh, Carol, how did Nick answer the following? The last thing I would ever give my wife is blank. A little spending money? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Nick actually said, the antidote. Nick, what are you talking about? <gasps> oh my god, a genie! I am here to grant you three wishes. I want a new hat! I want a new hat! I want them to have new hats. I wish I could see what Kelly Ripper was like off the set. So it shall be. <laughs> Great show today, Kelly. Thanks, Reed. You too. <laughs> Hey, Kelly, Gelman needs us on stage for a couple of reshoots. Be right there, Reg. I just have to put on my face. Your second wish? Oh, I got just a thing. I wish I had my own theme music. Done. I don't hear anything. Get up, try it out. Buddy, want to turn that stuff down? Oh, come on, pal. That's classic traveling music, eh? Try to enjoy it. Riding on a bus, riding on a bus, sitting next to bombs, gas an open seat, hope that isn't pee. Yeah, well, I'm sick of hearing it. Look, I'm sorry, buddy. I can't turn it off. Well, then, I'm going to break every bone in your body. I wish I had no bones. Done. Ah! Oh. 
That ought to show you. <laughs> okay, now, now I know you guys might be a little concerned about me not having bones and all, but uh, I, I gotta tell you, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's just like silly putty. Look what I can do to Mary Worth's smug sense of self-satisfaction. To this? Look, I'm making an angel. See, Lois, everything's gonna be fine. Now smile while I write my name in you. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> he just has to take his 12 baths a day. Sure, they'd pretend to be happy, but they're dead inside. They're dead. And that'll be our lives, hmm? What a big boneless jerk I am. I might have screwed up my life, but there's no reason I gotta keep screwing up theirs. Goodbye, cruel, bone-filled world. Oh, so this is where all the waste and sewage winds up. Cut and print. That's a wrap. Great job, Peter. Are hey, you coming to the rap party tonight? Peter, there's something I've been wanting to say to you all evening. What's that, Mrs. Catherine Zeta Jones Douglas? I want to jump your non bones. Geez, I, I can't believe I'm your type. Well, as you can tell from my husband, I've got a thing for saggy, shapeless men. I'm married to Catherine Zeta Jones. Will you sleep with me? Oh, yeah, I I'm gonna have to pass. But uh, Louis Anderson's eating the decorative soaps in the bathroom. Why don't you try him? Excuse me, aren't you Peter, the human stunt bag? Well, that all depends on who's asking. I'm a doctor about to conduct an experimental procedure to give bones to a jellyfish. But I'd like to try it on a human first. Interested? Well, I don't know. Interested? Didn't you just say that? Yes. I'll do it! What are you going to do now? Well, the whole reason I had the operation was so I could go back to my family. But it's been so long. What if they don't love me anymore? Peter, where do you think all those bones came from? Surprise! Surprise! My God, you, you mean... It's your bones that are inside me? Well, mostly. We picked up a drifter to fill in the torso. Well, like I always say, a family of freaks is better than no family at all. Let's go home. You know what's really weird? This was covered by my HMO. 